Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. Tens of thousands of commuters use them every single day to get in and out of downtown Vancouver. But if the city has its way, the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts could be reduced to rubble in a matter of years. Andrew McPherson is live this morning in Vancouver with the details. Andrea. Good morning, Kyle. On the Dunsmuir Viaduct, you can see the cars just keep lining up behind me here. Those estimates are right. Same situation on the Georgia Viaduct. And if the city has its way, it will tear, tear down both of those stretches at the tune of $200 million. Uh, that's all part of a plan that it would like to see bring in condos, a five hectare park along uh, Falls Creek, as well as some elevated bike lanes, too. Opinions have been Varied. There is a lot of controversy surrounding this. The report is set to go to council a little later on this month. It's important to realize that, you know, right now only 6% of the trips going into the downtown are vehicles using the viaducts. The other 94% are a whole variety of other means. People walking, cycling, taking transit, and all the other road connections in and out of the downtown. So this better meets the needs of commuter traffic getting in and out of the downtown. It also provides us with a number of other opportunities. Uh, that's something that we have to think about. Uh, but the $200 million price tag also concerns me. I heard two things from staff today. One was that uh, we're going to build a bunch of housing from the money we're going to get from the redevelopment of the land. And we're going to pay for this through the redevelopment of the land. I don't understand how we're possibly going to find $200 million and build a bunch of social housing uh, and uh, uh, you know, affordable housing. Uh, the math doesn't add up to me. So speaking of traffic here, uh, it would mean that the Pacific Boulevard would have to be rerouted, expanded as well. There are concerns about increased traffic flow in Chinatown, Gastown, Strathcona, etc. So if this is all said and done and wrapped up into a nice little bow, so to speak, as the city of Vancouver is hoping it will be, these changes could uh, come into effect uh, within the next five years. Kyle. All right. Thanks for that. Andrew McPherson live this morning in Vancouver.